Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Avalanche and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Avalanche's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Avalanche has been fitted with his own personal training collar and will show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. As you can see, Avalanche is seated very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. The first exercise we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Avalanche are taking off doing that now. The command is Avalanche Heal. We've also incorporated an automatic sit into this, so every time Fred stops his feet, Avalanche will sit and wait for another command. There's an automatic sit there. Very nice. It's important during the healing that Avalanche stays nicely on your left hand side and doesn't pull you or lag behind. You want him to walk at your pace. There's another automatic sit there. Very nice. The next exercise we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command. The stay is a hand and voice command. Fred is going to use the open flat of his left palm about an inch or so from Avalanche's muzzle and the one word command to stay. Stay. He then walks out to the end of the training leash and Avalanche will remain seated nicely through the entire exercise. It's a good exercise to practice at home starting at about a minute and working your way up to three minutes to build his self-control. When Fred returns back to Avalanche, he'll walk all the way around him and back into heel position and Avalanche remains seated nicely until given another command. Very good job. We'll demonstrate the heel sit and the stay for you again as they're taking off healing. There's the sit. He broke the command started to go down. It's important that you follow through on your commands. If you give him a stay, you want to make sure he does a stay, so you just repeat the command. This time instead of returning back to Avalanche, Fred will demonstrate the recall or the come command. He calls him in nicely using his name. Avalanche comes in, sits in front, and then we have an exercise called the finish. Avalanche heels around the back of Fred, right back into heel position on your left hand side, seated nicely. Demonstrate it again. Leave him in the sit stay. Out to the end of the training leash. Call him in using his name. He comes in, sits in front of you. And then the finish, he'll heel around the back. Right back into heel position, seated nicely. Very good job. Now we're going to demonstrate our down commands. The first one is down from a heel position. Fred is going to use the open flat of his palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. Very nice. Gives him a stay. Out to the end of the training leash. The long down stay is another good exercise to practice starting at about three minutes building your way up to five to help build that self control. When Fred returns back to avalanche he'll walk all the way around him as he did on the sit stay and back into heel position and Avalanche remains in the down until given another command. Very good job. We'll demonstrate that again for you. It's a good time to remind you you should be practicing all your commands about 15 to 20 minutes a day. It helps keep the commands fresh in Avalanche's head and he really enjoys doing them. Here's him sit. A down and a stay. Now to the end of the leash. And this time, instead of returning back to him, he'll demonstrate that recall command again and call him in. Come. Good boy. He comes in nicely, sits right in front, and then he'll perform the finish again by healing around the back of Fred, right back into heel position. Very good job. We'll give them a second to get lined up for our final command, which will be down from a distance.
This is the down from a distance. Okay. I'm going to leave him in a sit and a stay. Out to the end of the leash. This is the only time you're going to use your right hand to give the command. Fred will drop Avalanche into the down from the end of the training leash. Down. Very good. He then returns back to him by walking all the way around. Right back into heel position. Yep. Very good. We've demonstrated for you the obedience commands that Avalanche has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Avalanche, and thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.